On a pleasant autumn day in November 2023, His Royal Highness Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, made a special visit to the City of Manchester to support an important new initiative aimed at helping young people. The future King of England arrived looking relaxed and cheerful as he prepared to meet with youth at a local community centre in the Moss Side neighbourhood. Known for his down-to-earth charm and ease conversing with people from all walks of life, Prince William was warmly welcomed by the youth workers and teenagers who had gathered excitedly at the Hideaway Youth Project, which serves as the lead partner of the recently launched Manchester Peace Together Alliance. This new alliance represents an ambitious effort to reduce violence and crime in the community by providing positive programs and support for Manchester's youth. As he entered the space, Prince William was immediately approached by an enthusiastic group of youngsters who were eager to meet the popular royal. Among them was 11-year-old Amr Hassan, who surprised and delighted the prince by cheekily asking, how much do you have in your bank account? Prince William laughed good-naturedly at the bold question and admitted he honestly did not know exactly how much money was in his personal royal coffers. While Prince William's net worth is estimated to be around £1 billion according to sources like the Sunday Times Rich List, the question caught him off guard. Like others in the royal family, the prince derives his wealth from various sources such as inheritances, investments, properties, and business holdings. However, he seemed unfazed by the subject of his finances and simply carried on conversing easily with the youth who continued to flock around him. Later, when speaking with reporters, young Amir happily reported that the prince had not known the amount when asked about his bank account. For his part, Prince William took the cheeky question in stride during his visit, which marked the launch of the Royal Foundation Community Impact Project that will be providing £100,000 in funds to support the Manchester Peace Together Alliance's community programs. Mayor of Manchester, Andy Burnham, was also present to show support for this new initiative aiming to make a positive impact on youth and families in Mossside and across the city. After greeting the mayor, Prince William took time to thoughtfully and compassionately listen to local residents like Barbara Reed, mother of Jesse James, a teenager tragically shot and killed in the area in 2006. Barbara gave an emotional statement in front of a special memorial wall dedicated to the memory of her beloved son Jesse. The prince softly touched her shoulder in a gesture of empathy as she spoke about her devastating loss and the vital need for community programs for youth in Manchester. In another touching moment that demonstrated his warmth, Prince William happily accepted a handmade friendship bracelet from a young girl at the gathering. He continued to graciously accept the greetings and small gifts from youth members and took time to ask questions, listen to their stories, and offer words of encouragement. Throughout the visit, Prince William appeared genuinely engaged with the programs for young people at the Moss Side Millennium Powerhouse Center. He met with volunteers and community leaders to learn more about their initiatives for supporting youth through counseling, mentorship, recreational activities, job skills training, and more. The prince also took some time to unwind and have fun joining some young people for a game of pool. He looked focused and competitive as he lined up shots on the pool table amidst cheers and joking banter from the kids who were thrilled to see the future monarch showing off his pool skills. In speaking with another local parent, Audrey Preston, Prince William again demonstrated his heartfelt interest in listening and bringing attention to the ongoing trauma from violence that many Manchester families have experienced. Audrey spoke about the loss of her own 21-year-old son just three years prior and the lack of support many families feel after losing a child. She expressed that the Prince's visit to personally hear their stories meant a great deal, as such attention can inspire more community action and change. Prince William appeared genuinely moved by these conversations, reiterating his commitment to supporting youth services and education initiatives aimed at providing healthy outlets and alternatives to crime or violence. By taking time to visit Manchester's Moss Side neighborhood and engage so meaningfully with youth and families impacted by violence, Prince William demonstrated his dedication to using his platform to make a difference. With his warmth, humor, sincerity, and willingness to listen, the prince represented the royal family with grace and compassion. His visit brought excitement and renewed hope to the community, 
leaving a positive impact that will be felt for years to come. He was asked by a young student if he would like to participate in an art project where the children were cutting out empowering hairstyles they liked. Prince Charles, with his famously thinning hairline, joked, I'm literally the last person you should ask. My hair is disappearing. He let out a hearty guffaw that filled the room with warmth. After that amusing exchange, the heir to the British throne continued his engagement at the center. He smiled widely and posed for many pictures with the excited young people who were eager to meet royalty. Their eyes were bright and faces flushed from the honor of meeting a real-life prince. Later, Prince Charles sat down with some of the children who were immersed in arts and crafts projects using paper, markers, glitter, feathers, and all manner of creative materials. The students explained their projects to the prince, who asked thoughtful questions and praised their creativity. One young girl showed Prince Charles a poster she made about reducing violence. This led to a discussion about the innovative initiative the prince was supporting with Andy Burnham, the mayor of Manchester, to provide opportunities for at-risk youth as a means of combating crime and violence. The prince and mayor were jointly providing £100,000 in funding for an employment, skills and training program for disadvantaged teens. This was the first initiative of its kind from the Manchester Peace Alliance, a community-led effort to get to the root causes of youth violence through targeted mentoring and engagement activities. Mayor Burnham expressed his delight at the chance to collaborate with Prince Charles on this important cause. We know that working cooperatively with partners across sectors to provide opportunities for young people is the most successful method to make sure you stay away from crime and violence, Burnham explained. We are dedicated to doing all we can to eliminate crime and violence and the development of a specialized employment, skills and training program for at-risk youth, jointly supported by the Alliance, Manchester City Council, businesses and the Prince's Royal Foundation will certainly assist us in reaching this goal. On this particular day, the prince was dressed down in a casual navy blazer with tan trousers, along with a bright cerulean blue jumper and brown suede shoes. He took his time touring the whole community center, speaking with staff and young people alike with care and concern. This new initiative between the Prince's Royal Foundation and the Manchester Peace Alliance represents the first time the Alliance will partner closely with private businesses who have committed to providing work shadowing, apprenticeships, and jobs for troubled teens. Getting at-risk youth into steady jobs is a key component of the program. Julie Wharton, a director at one of the community organizations partnered with the Alliance, explained why this initiative is so important to their work. All of us at the Manchester Peace Together Alliance are absolutely delighted about the program being launched today, she said. At the Hideaway Youth Project, we place ourselves right in the heart of the community in Mossside, so we truly understand what our young people need. We want to do everything possible to prevent them from being impacted by the devastation that comes with youth violence. The Manchester Peace Alliance has been working for three years now to bring community groups, city government, businesses, and philanthropic organizations, like the Prince's Royal Foundation, together to end youth violence. Giving at-risk teens job skills, steady employment, and positive mentors is considered one of the most effective strategies to steer them away from gangs and crime. Prince Charles and Mayor Burnham's £100,000 commitment will launch this comprehensive employment program that could change young lives across Manchester. The Prince's personal involvement highlights the importance of providing productive paths forward for disadvantaged youth. As Prince Charles toured the community center that day, laughing with the art students and speaking with staff, he demonstrated his deep commitment to the young people of Manchester. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.